Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Pioneering IKS and today we are going to start with our 6th chapter Citizenship Meaning and Significance Like any other modern state, India has two kinds of people Citizens and aliens Citizens are full members of the Indian state and owe allegiance to it They enjoy all civil and political rights Aliens on the other hand are the citizens are the citizens of some other state and hence do not enjoy all civil and political rights. There are two categories, friendly aliens and enemy aliens. Friendly aliens are the subjects of those countries that have cordial relationship with India. Enemy aliens, on the other hand, are the subjects of the matter that is at war with India. They enjoy lesser rights than the friendly aliens. Example, they do not enjoy protection against arrest and detention. Article 22. The constitution confers the following rights and privileges on citizens of India and denies the same to alien. Right against discrimination on the ground of religion, race, caste, sex or place of birth. Article 15. Right to equality of opportunity in the matter of public employment, Article 16. Right to freedom of speech and expression, assembly, association, movement, residence, profession, profession, Article 19. Cultural and educational rights, Article 29 and 30. Right to vote in elections to the Lok Sabha and the State Legislative Assembly. Right to contest for the membership of Parliament and the State or Legislature. Eligibility to hold certain public offices, that is, President of India, Vice President of India, Judges of Supreme Court and the High Courts, Governor of State, Attorney General of India, Advocate General of the States. Along with the above rights, the citizen also owes certain duties towards the Indian states. For As for example, paying tax taxes, respecting national flag and the national anthem, defending the country and so on. In India, both a citizen by birth as well as a natural citizen is eligible for the office of president. While in USA, only a citizen by birth, not a naturalized citizen, is eligible for the office of president. Constitutional provisions. The constitutional deemed with the citizenship from Article 5 to 11 under Part 2. However, it contains neither any permanent or any elaborate provisions for this regard. It is identified. It only identifies a person who became citizens of India at its commencement, that is, on January 26, 1950. It does not deal with the problem of acquisition or loss of citizenship consequent to its commencement, subsequent to its amendment. It empowers the parliament to enact a law to provide for such matters and any other matter relating to citizenship According to Parliament, as enacted, the Citizenship Act 1955, which has been amended from time to time. According to the Constitution, the following four categories of person became the citizen of India at its commencement, that is on January 26, 1950. A person who has his domicile in India and also fulfilled any one of the three conditions which he was born in India or if either of his parents was born in India or if he has been ordinarily a resident of India for five years immediately before the commencement of the constitution became a citizen of India. A person who migrated to India from Pakistan became an Indian pa a citizen if he or either of his parents or any of his grandparents was born in undivided India and also fulfilled one of the two conditions which in case he migrated to India before uh, July 19, 1948 he had been ordinarily resident in India since the date of his migration or in case he migrated to India on or after July 19, 1948. He had been registered as a citizen of India but a person could be so registered only if he had been resident in India for six months preceding the date of application of registration. A person who migrated to Pakistan from India after March 1, 1947, but later returned to India for resettlement could become an Indian citizen. For this, he had to be resident of India for six months preceding the date of application for registration. A person who or 
any of his parents or grandparents were born in undivided India but who is ordinarily residing outside India sh- uh, India shall become an Indian citizen if he has been registered as a citizen of India by diplomatic or consular representative of the India in the country of his residence, whether both or after the commencement of the constitution. Thus, this provision covers overseas Indians who may want to acquire citizen Indian citizenship. To some these provisions deal with the citizenship of person domiciled in India, person migrated to from Pakistan, person migrated to Pakistan but later returned, and the citizens of Indian origin residing outside India. Other constitutional provisions with respect to citizenship are as follows. No person shall be a citizen of India or deemed to be a citizen of India if he or has voluntarily acquired the citizenship of another foreign state. Every every person who is or deemed to be citizen of India shall continue to be, to be such citizen subject to the provisions of any law made by parliament. Parliament shall have the power to make an any provision with respect to the acquisition and termination of citizenship and all other matters relating to the citizenship. Citizenship Act 1955 The Citizenship Act 1955 provides for the acquisition and loss of citizenship after the commencement of constitution. Originally, the Citizenship Act 1955 also provided for the Commonwealth citizenship, but this provision was repealed by the Citizen Amendment Act 2003. Acquisition of Citizenship The Citizenship Act of 1955 prescribes five ways of acquiring citizenship, birth, descent, registration, naturalization and incorporation of territory. First, by birth, a person born in India on or after January 26, 1950, but before July 1, 1987, is a citizenship of in- is a citizen of India by birth, irrespective of the nationality of his parents. A person born in India on or after July 1, 1947. 1987 is considered as a citizen of India only if either of his parents are this is a citizen of India at the time of his birth. Further, those born in India on or after December 3, 2004 are considered citizens of India only if both of their parents are citizens of India or one of whose parents is a citizen of India and other is not an illegal migrant at the time of their birth. The children of foreign diplomats posted in India and enemy aliens cannot in- acquire Indian citizenship by birth, by descent. A person born outside India on or after January 26, 1950 but before December 10, 1992 is a citizen of India by descent. If his, pa- his father was a citizen of India at the time of his birth, a person born outside India on or after December 10, 1992 is considered as a citizen of India if either of his parents is a citizen of India at the time of his birth. December 3, 2004 onwards, a person born outside India shall not be a citizen of India by this end, unless his birth is registered at an Indian consulate within one year of the birth of date or with permission of the central government after the expiry of the said period. An application for the registration of the birth of a minor child to an Indian consulate shall be accompanied by a undertaking in written from the parents of such minor child that he or she does not hold a passport of any other country. Further, a minor who is a citizen of India by virtue or descent and is also a citizen of any other country shall cease to be an Indian citizen if he does not renounce citizenship or nationality of another country within the six months of attaining full age. By registration, 
the central government may on the application register as a citizen of india any person not being an illegal migrant if he belongs to any of the following categories namely a person of indian origin who is ordinarily resident in india for 7 years before making an application of registration a person of indian origin who is ordinarily resident in any country or a place outside undivided india a person who is married to a citizen of india and is ordinarily resident in india for 7 years before making an application for registration minor children of persons who are citizens of india a person of full age and capacity whose parent are registered as citizens of india a person of full age and capacity who either of his parents was early citizens of indian independent india and is ordinarily resident in india for 12 months immediately before making an application for registration a person of full age and capacity who has been registered as an overseas citizen of india card holder for 5 years and who is ordinarily resident in india for 12 months before making an application for registration a person shall be deemed to be an indian origin if he or she or either of his parents was born in undivided india or in search of the territory which became the part of india after august 15 1947 all the five categories of person must be must take an oath of allegiance before they register as a citizen of india by naturalization the central government may on an application grant a cit- grant a certificate of naturalization to any person not being an illegal migrant if he possesses the following qualification that he is not a subject or citizen of any other country where citizens of india are prevented from becoming subjects or citizens of that country by naturalization that is he is a citizen of any country he undertakes to renounce the citizenship of that country in the event of his application for indian citizenship being accepted that he has either resided in india or been in the service for the government in india or partly the one and the partly the other throughout the period of 12 months immediately preceding the date of application that during the 14 years immediately preceding the said period of the 12 months he either resided in india or been in the service of government in india or partly one and the partly the other for periods amounting to the aggregate to not less than 11 years that he is of good character that he is an educate he has an educate knowledge of language specified in the eighth schedule to the constitution and that in the event of the certificate of naturalization being granted to him he attends to reside in india or to enter into the continue in service under the government in india or under the international organization of which india is a member or under society company or body of the person established in india however the government of india may waive all or any of the above conditions for naturalization in case of a person who has rendered distinguished service to the science philosophy art literature world peace or human progress every naturalized citizen must take an oath of allegiance to the constitution of ter- india